up guys welcome back to the channel we have some square body content for you which seems to be overtaking this channel uh, a lot of people <laughs> a lot of people don't even care about the Duramax anymore or the Cummins they care about the square body which I have some huge news I'm not gonna give away any hints right now but it's huge news you might have you might be seeing more and more square body content not gonna go away from the Duramax or the Cummins but we're just adding more kind of expanding uh, the content on this channel so uh, right now, as you can tell by the title of this one, we are going to be tearing down some of the some of the engine on the square body. We got to send some parts off to get rebuilt. And uh, yes, I could have bought a new piece, but um, I decided to go this way because it's a little bit cheaper. And we're trying to keep this build under a certain budget. Not that I'm going cheap on anything. I just want to make sure. I don't spend more than I need to. So, as you guys know, uh, the square body's at my parents. So, we're gonna go over to my parents' house. I'm gonna have to bring a lot of my tools over there. ZR1 starter went out. I think I mentioned that in a couple previous videos. I just ordered the new starter. So, I will be doing the starter on this thing shortly. I think all I'm gonna need is sockets and my ratchets today. I think, I mean, I don't know. Well, <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself again. I'm gonna bring this over there. I'm gonna bring my mini impact right here over there. And uh, probably gonna grab a grip mat. These are also amazing grip mat. SP doesn't make these. I think they work alongside with them. They're amazing. I have three sizes of these. Uh, you can lay them on fenders. You don't, you don't have to worry about them scratching. They're really soft. Put all your you know hardware, sockets, whatever when you're working, pretty cool. This is my parents' Gladiator. It's a Rubicon Gladiator. It is, it's so smooth, like, it feels nothing like a Jeep. Maybe it's just because of the Rubicon and the suspension. I did not even explain to you guys what we're gonna be doing today, but if you guys have been following along, you guys know that the, there's an injection pump problem on this thing, and I already kinda know what it is, what's, what it's doing, and it's a leak at the, the throttle shaft on that pump. Um, these injection pumps on these trucks are known to be really bad. They just don't last long. Um, so <clears throat> what we're gonna be doing today is, right now is gonna be the easy part. We're just gonna be pulling off the, the intake and then we're gonna be pulling off the uh, intake manifold. Yes. But basically guys, this is what we're, we're trying to get this off right here. The uh, injection pump right there. So um, I'm gonna pull this bad boy off. We wanna gain access into here. You can tell it's been, been worked on before. I, the previous owner said he took the, let's turn this, let's put this off, let's pull this bad boy off. And before we start, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to disconnect batteries here shortly, but. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and loosen up all the bolts to the intake manifold here. Get that thing lifted off and then. Uh, I'll show you guys what we got planned. <clears throat> all right, guys, we have all but two bolts out of the intake manifold. Change of plans, we're just gonna take the Cummins. Right now, we are about to go head out and go get my t-shirts. So let's go ahead on, I'm gonna wash my hands real quick, and we're gonna head out and take the Cummins. Oh, my air dog. Relay fuse blew again. If anyone has the answer to that, let me know because it's a pain. So let me go ahead and change that. See, it's like burnt up. <sighs> this fuse keeps going out. It's a 20 amp fuse, and it keeps going out on my uh, air dog. So we're good to go now. There we go. I always check this, and you can hear the pump, obviously. 
but when I bought this for my buddy, he said it, did it, it didn't do it all the time, but every so often, that 20 amp fuse would blow, so oh, I need to probably either reach out to Air Dog and find that solution, or maybe you guys know, um, it doesn't make sense to me, I don't know why it does it, it makes no sense, so maybe I need a 25 amp fuse in there, I don't know. Sick. We're loose. That should come right out now. All right. Got it. Okay. Hey, Todd, how's it going? Good. I would rather use shop towels, but. Okay. Boom. All right, that's perfect. We've completely lost daylight, boys. So we'll go ahead and get this thing out right now, real quick. Get this out of the way. See what we see. What else we can get done, real quick, and then. I call it a night. There's only one nut on this. That's that's definitely what you want. There should be two. All right, we got it. Here it is. That hole right there, and that's the hole we're going to be using tomorrow. Stuff that in there for now so nothing gets in there. That's the hole we're going to be using to access the bolts that, that connect this thing, the injection pump. We'll pick up right where we left off tomorrow. She is mint. Look at that. That dents for aerodynamics, so that's what, if you guys are wondering why it's there. All right, guys, it is... The next day, we're gonna. Okay, let's go ahead and head on over there and uh, knock this thing out and uh, get this thing ready to ship. Alrighty, so here's what we got to do. I don't know if you guys can see it. Not ruining this camera. Those bolts, I gotta rotate the engine. Um, I'm gonna crank it over a little bit and make those three bolts show up. It's gonna be one at a time though. Pulled the fan off. Now I gotta now I got access to that bolt. You don't want anything to fall down there. I already broke it loose, so I'm gonna use this with a magnet on the end. Here's what I'm doing to get those bolts. I'm just turning that right there, cranking it over. I'm gonna go ahead and take that one out. Same process. I'm gonna show you guys the same thing again. I'm just gonna go ahead and knock the rest of these out, and then uh, then I have to start unbolting everything on top of the injection pump. All three of those out. Now we got to unbolt the back side of the injection pump. One 15 millimeter bolt, and there's two 15 millimeter nuts that are on those studs that are come out of that come out of there. Don't look too hard to get to. All right, so let me go ahead and we'll start getting started on the next one. So I have no idea the size of these. I'm bringing both of them. I'm going to say these are a must-have. If you're starting like a tool kit or whatever for yourself, I don't think this would be one of the first things you'd add, but it's one of those tools that you wish you had, and I'm lucky enough to have them. That line's supposed to be underneath all these other lines. Um, so what that tells you is someone before me pulled this thing out, I'm going to have to redo that. So I'm going to have to pull. I can see it right down there. You can see it right there where it goes. I think all we gotta do now is, I gotta get this piece off. See, my fingers are strong enough to pinch this. <clears throat> Got it. Give me a little bit of, okay. 
be tough to hold the camera. Let me set this camera up real quick. Camera's about to die. Let's go show you guys. Okay, so now, okay, so, found out was wrong. Okay, well, <laughs> there's what's wrong. The problem is I probably could just replace that because I know for a fact that's where it's leaking from. But uh, I'm just gonna send this thing off. Might as well have everything redone. But I figured that was what was going on. See. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this video. We are, I'm gonna just go ahead and take all the lines off, put them aside, the pump pretty clean so I can send it off without the leak while it's you know being shipped. And then uh, we just wait, they're gonna rebuild it for us, send it back, and as soon as it gets here, it's going back in to bleed the system, see if she'll crank. It, it's cranked that bad seal uh, pretty easily, so I'm not, not too concerned it's not gonna crank, but um, yeah, that's gonna do it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, this thing is, is pretty easy to work on. Everything's so like out in the open. Duramax is like really compact, hard to get at stuff. This thing's really easy. Now, I know this, this engine's not as reliable as a Duramax, but it, it seems pretty easy to work on for the most part. Everything is really accessible, so. Yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys like all the square body content, please give this video a like. Let me know down in the comments on what kind of content you guys would like to see. This is my priority right now, along with the Duramax and the Cummins. So, um, that's what we're going to be working on. Anyways, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new to this channel and you like diesel content, automotive, just trucks, square bodies, whatever, anything automotive, then you're probably in the right place. So uh, maybe think about subscribing. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a like, and I will see you guys next time.